Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today I'm going to share with you a small game wire snare kit that I've created. I've never seen anybody with anything like this before. It's a great idea, very, very handy. A great for an emergency. And I'm going to share with you what's in it and how it works and how to make it. So here's the kit. I've got it in this very handy little package. This is a Burt's Bee hand cream tin. I love this hand cream anyway, so I always got tons of these laying around. And uh, you know, it's, it's a compact package, it's crush resistant, it's almost waterproof. And inside here, I've got 30 pre-made uh, brass wire snares. And also in here, I've got two smaller Burt's Bees lip balm containers. And I'll share with you what's in those in a second. So for these snares, I'm going to show you how to make them in a sec. But I fit 30 of them in here. It's important that they are pre-made. You know, when you buy uh, a spool of the, the wire like this, a lot of people just throw the wire in their kit and they're like, yeah, I've got, <clears throat> I've got wire in there to make snares. And if you ever tried to make one of these before, it takes a few minutes to make one. You don't have time. If you've got to set 10, 20, 30 of these things in an emergency, you don't have time to make them all. You need to use your time more wisely, have them pre-made. And um, that's what I've done here. And they conveniently fit right on the outside, right around the, the outside of the interior of this tin here that allows me the space on the inside to put these two smaller tins. What's in these? One of them's got bait. And this is a small game, so we're talking like squirrels, all various squirrels here, chipmunks, and also rabbits. Squirrels love peanut butter, so I've got peanut butter in here. And I know it's a small tin, a little bit goes a long way. You just need a little dab just to get the scent. But most of these, how you're going to use them, is unbaited anyway. There is one, one, or, you know, one or two ways to use it with bait, but for the most part, they're unbaited. In here, I've got 15 small 3 quarter inch drywall screws. That's what's in here. And this gives you the ability to attach these snares to larger trees. Um, if there's a squirrel nest up in a tree or something and you want to put these in the trunk of the tree going up and down, there's no branches to attach these snares to. You can use your multi-tool to put these screws in, attach the snares to the screw that we've got an anchor point there. Um, and why not nails? You could probably fit more nails in there, but nails make noise and they're going to scare the animals away or alert other people to your presence that something's up and you don't want that. So screws are quiet. If you got a multi-tool, which I always do, then piece of cake, no problem. So there's our system. And before I show you how to make one of these snares, first of all, I have to preempt this. This is illegal. I am, it's illegal in my state, I think it's illegal in almost every state to use wire snares like this. This is just for an emergency when you or you know your people in your group or your family are going to starve. That's the use for this. And it is very difficult, if not impossible, to practice this without it being lethal. Here's how to make it. There's two different options as far as I'm concerned for the snare wire. This is my favorite. It's brass, I forget the gauge. Um, I think it's 30, but I'm not sure. This is brass wire for jewelry making. Get this at EC Moore, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, probably Walmart too. Um, they come in a 30 yard spool. It's about $4 for this, and it's great. If you don't want to use that or you don't have that, and by the way, this comes in all different shades also, not just the gold. It comes in black and gray and green and all kinds of colors. Um, this is from the hardware store. I think it's from Home Depot. This is 24 gauge steel galvanized uh, picture frame, picture hanging wire. And you can use this for the same thing also if this is what you have. And here you get 250 feet and we're going to use about three feet for each snare so you can figure out you know, how, much, how many snares you can make out of each of these things here. All right, so here's the way I make these. You get a multi-tool and we're going to clip off about three feet of this wire here. So I'm going to get three feet out, roughly three feet. You don't have to measure it and go crazy, just roughly three feet. That's about good. Okay, three feet. We're going to clip it off. There we go. So we've got our wire. Now, before I show you exactly how to make it, I get these. I'll show you the whole bunch of them. At the supermarket, if you go in the produce aisle where all the fresh fruits and vegetables are, you always have these little twist ties you can rip off to put around your bags. And I always grab a whole bunch of extra and, you know, my wife gives me a look, but that's okay. Deal with it. And this is what I use to, to tie these all together. And I'll, I'll take one of these and I'll cut it in half 
and I'll put one on one half of this on each side to hold it together. And that's the technique that I use. So we've got that prepared. There it is. I'm gonna get this back to the pliers. Alright. First thing we're gonna do is gonna take a toothpick or a stick. I'm gonna use a toothpick to show you this. And we're going to get about an inch extra hanging off of there. We're gonna wrap it around this toothpick three times real tight. Right up against itself. You can see that there, hopefully. That's a little bit better. See that? Okay. Now, gonna make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna grab it with the pliers and we're going to twist this toothpick. You can see that, like that. I'm gonna twist them together until they're tight. So now they're tightened. Now we can grab this with the pliers further down, twist the whole thing all the way up. And that gives it some more strength. Now you can either slide the toothpick off or break it off. And what you're left with <coughs> is that little circle. You can see it right there against the back of the tin, that little circle. And now we can put the other end of our wire right through there, feed it through. And that is the working end of our snare. Oops. There it is for you, right there. So now you've got that. It's almost like a slip knot kind of thing. That's the noose that tightens up. Now we have to be able to tie this off somehow. And what we're going to do on the other end. Alright, so now I'm going to take about two inches fold it over and I'm just gonna hold it about one inch in and start to just twist it by hand by hand is fine get it nice and tight and you want to leave a good sized loop on the end there you can see that again that loop and once I've got that nice and tight then I can grab it with the pliers further down and do it the rest of the way So now, if I wanted to secure this onto something, I'm not going to show you the whole demo of how to set it right now. That'll be a video coming up soon. But if you wanted to set this on something, you take the, the noose end and we feed it through that hole. You can attach it onto a tree branch or something like that. And then you have the, the other end that's, that's your noose to set. And then to store it, we open this up a little smaller than the inside of that tin like that, curl it up over itself, Oops. take a twist tie, when you see how long it takes to get one of these ready, I mean I'm, I'm explaining it and going slow for you, but still, it's, a, it's extra work that an emergency you don't want to have to do. And there it is, it's ready to go right in the inside of that tin there, like that. And then when you want to use it, you just take these off, put them aside, got your snare ready to go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a neat little kit, great idea. And um, I'm gonna start showing you guys pretty soon all the different ways to make trapping sets with these wire snares. A lot of the videos I've seen, people do it kind of like the same way, but there's gotta be lots of different ways to do it. I'm thinking about at least four different ways to set these off the top of my head. There's gotta be more than that. And um, I'm gonna show you that pretty soon, so if you liked it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.